six years ago that a lone gunman killed 28 people and injured at least two others inside a school in Newtown, Connecticut. The Sandy Hook school shooting changed the way we talk about security in schools, but it also sparked a new program in Georgia called Stop the Bleed. It trains students and teachers how to use a trauma tourniquet to stop bleeding if something like that, God forbid, ever happens here. The program has been in schools for about a year now, so I went behind the headline and found out that even though we haven't had any shootings here, it has already saved four lives. Students terrified, parents desperate to find their kids when a 20 year old gunman opens fire on children at school. Most of those students who passed away could have been saved if they had been able to stop their bleeding injuries. Georgia held tight to that idea. Everyone has different thoughts on how to stop a gunman, but we can teach someone how to stop the bleed. All right, so if I were to do one full twist, your arm would start turning blue. Coming elementary school nurse Kathy Gregory has trained all the staff at her school how to use these bright orange tourniquets. This is how I check off our staff members. This is our arm. This is our arm. It even has a, a, a pretend wound that right there. As soon as everyone was trained, she got her kits packed with everything you need for a major bleed, but she had no idea how soon she'd use it. The fire department delivered our kits one day and our accident happened the very next day. The very next day? Yes, I hadn't even taken them out of the box yet. A fourth grader fell on the playground and broke her arm, but this time the bone severed an artery and she was losing blood fast. If I didn't have that kit, I would have been using anything I could find, a shoestring, maybe my own hands, I don't know, just anything to get that arm to stop bleeding. We definitely needed the tourniquet to, to help save her arm. Her arm and maybe even her life. Now they keep a kit hanging right by the playground and the cafeteria and in each major hallway. These kits also saving three other students at different schools. One after a pottery incident in Gwinnett, after a stabbing in Twiggs County, and again for an amputation in Henry County when a door was closed on a child's fingers. Pretty soon, every public school will have at least 12 kits to hang as they please, and even more to stock the school buses. I think the more people who know how to use them, the more successful the program will be. So far, these kits are in 1,900 of the 2,300 schools in the state of Georgia. And to train more students, they're working on making it part of a required CPR class. We'll be right back.